All right, let's take a look at the plank exercise. So one of my favorites. So we're gonna have Shannon demonstrate the plank. So most of the time, the forearm plank is what we're talking about when we do a plank. So what you want is for your body to be in line from your shoulder to your ankle to be a straight line. So some of the things we're looking for is to make sure the head's in line, body's a straight line, that we're not sagging down with our hips too much like this, and that we're not also, or you know, peaking up or piking like this. So we don't want the bum up too high or bum sagging too low. We wanna be a straight line. Now, if you can't hold that plank for the full minute or full time of, of the exercise, you can just hold it for as long as you can. So start where you're at and build from there. So start maybe with the modification of um, do it for as long as you can and then drop down to your knees. Again, we're still gonna look for that straight plank from your knee then to your shoulder. So try to drop those hips in and make sure that you're, you know, that straight line all the way down and, and hold that for the rest of the minute. Okay, you can take a break for a sec. Um, let's talk about how to progress that then. So if the one minute plank on your elbows is uh, becoming too hard um, or you can't quite hold that for the whole time, you can obviously do that modification. You can also do a straight arm plank as a modification. So if it bothers your elbows or your shoulders, sometimes a straight arm plank like that is a little bit easier typically than the elbow plank. Um, so that can be a place you start or it just changes it up a little bit from from the type of load so you can start there and then if we drop down to the elbows again and so you're holding this type of a plank some of the progressions we can do then are like a leg lift so where you're alternating your legs and lifting up trying to maintain that planked body but really works the core in a different way you can also do a hip dip where you're dipping your hips down to either side so trying to keep that tight core and and the straight body but just working those more kind of obliques and controlling through that. Um, another thing you can do is plank up downs where you're going from your elbows up and then back down. Again, trying to hold that straight line and that tight core as you do it. So those are different ways that you can progress. Obviously you can add weight to your ankles or things like that if you're doing leg lifts, if it's getting, if you need more and more um, load placed on it to make it more difficult. But those are the ways to progress or to make it easier so that you can modify it to where you're at. Start with where you're at and build from there.